My sock spectrometer is still processing the data. Um, guys? So it can't be an earthquake? Wait, my kneecap ultrasound detector is registering strange readings from... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, we are back to some more Deponia. We're in chapter two. We have made our grand escape with our kidnapped victim in tow, in goal. And on the way of being of uh, escapee from that town, we also caught the goods of, um, Dick Tony, as I like to call it from now on, showering in Wenzel's place. I can't believe Rufus gave that up. What is wrong with this man? I don't know. Either way, we have also apparently taken under our grass this mine bike, which does work, but apparently it's facing the wrong direction. We have a button that also showed up out of nowhere. If you look at our thing over here, our goal list, I suppose, we have to find the switch lever. Set the switch point. Get the mine bike to the turning area. So we have a couple of goals here, and apparently also <laughs> we gotta at some point or another lift goal with that crane. So let me get on this mine bike. This thing over here popped up last time after we did our little spinny thing. Oh, nice. There we go. We went on like an amusement park ride. It was actually kind of cool. I knew this would happen. So we're at the upper level. What do we got here? To the tunnel. We have a key box. Locked. Yeah. Big, big shocker on that one, huh? Something locked in a point of click adventure game. Get out of here. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Well, this we could take. Well, we'll, get, we'll investigate things really soon, but the first thing I always do in a new area is just steal everything imaginable. A dirty old rag. Every respectable handyman has one of these. Yes, I will even steal a dirty old rag. What about it? Don't judge me on my addiction to stealing. We have a button as well. This says I haven't loaded enough trash to be able to switch the points. That doesn't matter though. I can't take off without goal anyway. So we have to load this up with trash or at least more weight? Huh. Okay, and over here we have the control panel. Uh -huh. hmm. Ah, yep, all clear. I don't have any trouble with pasta recipes. That's something tells me it's not to uh, make yourself some ravioli, but hey, what do I know? Okay, and then indicator. This says... I yeah, have haven't loaded enough, gotcha. Matter. Shut up, I shut up. You shut up. Okay, so what do we got? We have this, yeah. Get off of the bike first. And... Go to the tunnel. Oh, it's the upper area from that. See, last time I surmised that this right here was being blocked off to get over here. Why I couldn't just remove it, I don't know, but maybe... We can get our shortcut now. We also have a signaling light. All signals are on go, so why am I still here? It's because we got to get goal. Looky here! There really was a secret passage! I wonder where it leads. <laughs> Downstairs? Oh my god! Top notch! Turn red. Which means stop. So let's come... Oh... It makes sense now. This thing looks... We could reach for the key now, right? Because, um, of that. So stop, it brought the signal down, which it gave us access to the key. That's probably the key that we need for... Uh, if people would trust me more, I wouldn't have to steal keys off them all the time. <laughs> Can't imagine why they don't trust you if you're stealing stuff. That's probably the key that we need for, uh, that box over there, too. Maybe. Or maybe for the maintenance hatch. Because we couldn't open that last time, right? Let's try it over here first. No. Uh doesn't fit. And once again, I'm one step closer to solving the mystery of the peculiar key. So... Oh, I wonder... We got the red one, right? From this one? Because the white one I think we got from the crane or something like that. And we got the red one from there. What happens if I was to... Okay. So now we could pop this open. Right? Oh, look, look at that. Half-Life 3 confirmed, huh? <laughs> no, this is actually just a wrench and a crowbar, but still. So maybe that's for this? Yes. Okay. What is that? A oh, fuse! Perfect! Yeah! So now we can get the, the, the crane moving, because it was missing the fuse. Fuse this up. Excellent. It works! <laughs> it really works! 
Oh, now, this is going to be I bad. I only have to heave goal onto the mine bike and whammo! Da la la da da li 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 Huh? Where's the mine bike? Oh, crap. I knew I forgot something. Oh. Why can't you just grab her and put her over here and then we'll, we'll take her the rest of the way? She can't weigh that much. We need the mine bike here. See, I told you it felt a little bit too easy. It just felt a little bit too easy. Well, where am I at? Down here? No, no. Go, go back to the tunnel. So we got to get that mine bike over there. I mean, this track only goes one way, so I think we're supposed to get it over here to go on the other side. Unless we could get through it from here. To boy, the outer oh boy, it's dark in here. Luckily, I have mastered the high art. Oh, uh, yeah, he's going to hurt himself. The spotlight doesn't go around. Yeah. So, it's too dark to get to where the lever's probably at, which is the reason why that's here. Oh, okay. Well, we got a, a mirror last time. Can we just, like, mirror the reflection? Uh, where do I mirror into? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> Maybe we can put in the skeleton. Hey, Don't it drop it, you hear? Okay, well, I can't remove the mirror anymore, so I guess we can just clean it from there. So it's probably where it has to be for sure. Um... Wipe the bottleneck clean at once, and thoroughly. All right, because of the herpes joke that we- It was just a joke, Doc. Oh, but we have the- I mean, does he care if it's dirty? Maybe we'd have to tell him that it's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> clean. Now I have a cloth soaked in alcohol. There you go. Well. I mean, it's just as good. I mean, as a matter of fact, I would say it's even better if you wipe it with alcohol, because it's killing germs and stuff like that. Yeah, buddy. All right. It still doesn't seem like it's reflecting that into that. But if we move this up, that goes off. So we have to move you up and somehow... Ugh, keep you on. What did Doc say? Rufus, always remember... If you implant an inverter, that gadget's function will be... But why am I telling you all this? Someone should... Ah. Yeah. Do both of them do the same thing? What did Doc say? Yeah. If you implant... But... They're just both power inverters. That must be the fuse box for the signal. We want to invert this. Okay, hold up, hold up. Does it matter which one I use? I'll just put this one in. Let's see, if I install the power inverter here, the signal is doing <gasps> the exact opposite of yes! what the signal light is showing. <laughs> Excellent! Oh, Falcon, Falcon, why are you so smart? I don't know, you know, I just... Sorry, I was taking a sip of coffee and just trying to put my cup away. It just comes naturally sometimes, you know, it's just, um, you're burnt, you're, you're, you're burned. <laughs> you're born with this ginormous brain that's so juicy and wrinkly. Very succulent brain, and it just happens. You just you have a knack for putting things together yourself. So now that's obviously, I imagine, being reflected. What the hell's happening now? Huh? The bright light stabilizes the sound waves. I can <laughs> see in the dark. Ouch! Ha <laughs> ha! No, you idiot! You you weren't doing sound effects like a. What the hell was that? Perfect. I know exactly where that goes. I have a bottle, too. Okay. Hey, there's still something in there. This is still half full. Really? <coughs> Which is... Only a beetle. Why, why would that be... <laughs> why would you check it that way? Why don't you just turn it over on the ground and see what comes out? Right. And then... No dice without the mine bike. Yeah, that's what I figured. How do I... <laughs> it's gotta be... It can't, it can't be that difficult, can it? Hold up. Maybe just ride it? Oh, we can still take off. Okay. Like, I was looking for... Perfect. I thought there was, like, a specific button to hit to bring it down, but since that thing's over there, like, caged up, and that thing over there says not enough float, I was like, well... What the hell? So, now get off. Hit this. And with any luck, it'll turn us to the other road, or track. To get us on- Yeah! To let us allow us to get, um, goal. Perfect. Okay. We're making some nice headway over here. Off we go! Ha <laughs> ha! 
and turned around. Now we grab her, put her over there. We have probably enough load with her as well, because uh, according to Rufus, she weighs a ton. We don't necessarily want to tell her that. That's what we think. But apparently she weighs a ton, so this this works perfect. Uh, crank. Child's play. <laughs> Ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no! Crap! Oh, damn! What's wrong with me? I'm usually totally laid back. It must be the fumes from the mine. How can Doc stand them? Huh, I better go and ask him. Oh god, I thought we <laughs> dropped her and killed her. I'm gonna go talk to Doc. Why isn't it so simple? We have the mine here, we have the crane, she's there, you put her on the bike and we go. No. No, of course not. You gotta go talk to the crazy man again, who you, I apparently gave herpes to, and he's not a, too happy about it. I mean, I, I don't blame him. If I did give him herpes, I'd be upset, too. I'd have a bone to pick with me, too, but still. Hi there. Huh? What? Oh. Hello. Doc, I, I'm a, a little highly strung. <laughs> I can see that. Look at you. The hands, the eyes, the hair. Huh? You should do something about it. Unrest is a handyman's death. If I get too twitchy, I meditate. Meditate? Yes. You should try it for yourself. Like this. Lodge your leg behind your head and fixate on a point on the horizon. Wait, I'll show you. Oh, no. Just How? take it in. Choose a point on the horizon and stare at it. What am I doing? I What's wrong? Right You're not fixating at all. Just what, what? take it in. What? Take what in, dog? I was looking What's at your wrong? leg. You're not fixating at all. Horizon? Okay. I'll, That's I'll, I'll... right. Oh, my. Can you see how everything gets more focused and how the colors are more lively? I have fixated on that strange blue shape to the right. Now I let my eyes wander to the north until I see a blue pole. Now I gaze far over to the west to that green thing. And then in a straight line to this blue thing down there. And then, finally, uh, whoa, I'm already utterly... Entranced. In any case, you have to tell the world who you are. I am a river. After that, I take a good swig from my hip flask and I'm all relaxed. Got everything? <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel about it, too. And in case you were wondering, that was me trying to do Inagata de Vida. Just without actually using it, because if I used it, the video would get copywritten claimed. So I don't want that happening, but that's what it felt like staring off over here. And what's this supposed to be? I can't afford any disfiguring infectious diseases, so please stop that. It's about the herpes, though, isn't it? No, I, 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 want, I, I want this. Okay, fine, you know? Oh, we got that bottle. Okay, fine, it's fine. Will you cut that out? You can have a sip if you want to. That doesn't mean that you can siphon the whole bottle. So why don't you make yourself clearer next time? Oh, that's so... Come on, Doc! I need to get this filled up so I can get that woman on the mine bike. Two hours later. Alright, so I went through all of his dialogue choices. There's apparently nothing that guy could persuade this man to give me that booze or at least let me take enough of it for myself. However, we could tell him to show us how to meditate again. That's still an option, so could I you feel... Show me how to meditate again? Uh, just larger. Yeah, we could skip through all that. Right. I skipped it right just now, so... Just take it in. Oh, Fix your eyes so on that's the, the reason why... Shut up, Doc. That's the reason why, like, um... What's wrong? You're not other than checking out the horizon when he shows you how to do this, you could still move. Because he's distracted, so that probably... I mean, I guess we shouldn't take just it, but we should at least in. fill up our... Fix your eyes on the horizon. Perfect. <laughs> Just take it in. <laughs> Fix your eyes on the horizon. Are we still doing it? No, okay. <laughs> Dude, if he's still doing that when I get back for whatever reason, that's gonna be awesome. Okay, so that's the reason why the option was still there. Perfect. So we have our, our bottle thing. So now... Um... Wait, how do I... How do I get him to put his leg behind his neck? You're not supposed to put things on the rear shelf. 
if you're planning to break. What? You're not supposed to if you're planning. I mean, we're trying to put your leg in the rear shelf. <laughs> uh, maybe he'll do it automatically. Oh, crap. No. 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 <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do? Could take the booze? Have it ready for the crane? Break a thing for luck? I don't need luck. I've got expert. No, that's not what we need. Break a thing for luck? I don't need. No. Eh, it's always good to have a spare. This is, this is stupid. <laughs> this is, if this works. I knew it all along. You don't need yoga if you're resourceful. <laughs> well, I guess we found out the mystery behind the freaking leg. Literally, just put any leg behind you. Doesn't have to even be your neck, just behind you. Okay, so now we should be able to... Oh, crap. No. Oh, no, 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 no. We're... The, the horizon thing, right, right. Okay, hold on. Horizon. Leg behind the head? Check. Fixate horizon? Check. Here we go. All right. Whoa. I am an uh, uh, what? Uh, ri I am a river, is what he said. There's no river option. A pea suv? Pup up? Pumas? Pumpu? Pizzov. I am a Pizzov. Yeah, I'm much more relaxed now. <laughs> huh? Why is my leg shaking like that? Oh, I'm probably not a Pizzov after all. Huh. Maybe this wasn't right at all. Oh, no. Okay, well, I think it's. Leg behind the. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's try Pup up. Pup up! Papa. <laughs> Papa. And now? Oh, it's working. He's drinking. Yeah. I think it's working, but I can't feel my tongue. Oh, that was soon. <laughs> <coughs> wow. All right, are we good now? Once again. Nice and easy. Da la la da da li li di di li li. Yeah. Da la la da da li li di di li. Rufus, Rufus, yeah. I like how we just drop her into a freaking funnel. Just, just let it go. Can't imagine that being the softest landing, you know? Alright, well, either way, our, our job here is done. Let's go. It's time to get on out of here. Take our mine bike. That should hopefully be the load that we needed as well to have enough weight to get on that freaking upper pad track. No, buddy. Oh, what is this now? Or something to go back? Oh, we probably have to set off again, though. Ooh. Oh my goodness, God. Surprise you doesn't go flying off. There we go. Switch it up. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Oh, you're quite heavy, babe. And I thought you were making yourself extra heavy when I lugged you up the hill just now. Never mind. The controls are exposed, and there's a circuit diagram. This'll be easy as pie. I mean, you said it was a pasta recipe the first time around. Yeah, so I guess it can't be that simple. Now we have to figure this out, whatever the hell it is. Sorry, what do we have here? Yellow lever, red lever, green lever. And we got some switches, too. Alright. Would well, be nice if I knew where I'm at. <laughs> In this, um, entire grand scheme of things here. Like, am I here? Is that the square indicate the thing that we're at and we're... Going that way? Right, so if we're here, let's presumably assume that. Coming out, it'd be yellow. Go down that way, okay. Two hours later. 
Oh, we come out from over here. I thought we were going to be coming out from this side, so I made turns and twists to make it so that we came through here. Okay, I got you now. Yeah, now we're really going places. Check it out, babe. Never in the heavens. Oh, Rufus, you really are true. If you like that, then... Look, the rails are still Oh, we got red. it this time. Perfect. What? Don't say you've already got one of these new infrared visors. Um... No. My beard sonar has gone to red alert. They have to be somewhere close by. I'll send a helmet fax to the bailiff immediately. You two are shitting me, right? Hold on for a second. My shoulder seismograph is giving me strange readings. You're right. I feel it too. Uh, um, guys, strange. According to the sole barometer in my boot, the ground pressure hasn't changed. My sock spectrometer is still processing the data. Um, guys, say so it can't be an earthquake. Wait. My kneecap ultrasound detector is registering strange readings from... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Goodness God. Hey, I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm not an easy man to break. <laughs> they call him Rufus. Rufus. And what Is a she sight. Still alive? The lower ascension station. Uh, I did it once again. You see that? I did it. I, I, I. Oops. Maybe I should get you to a place that is a little more comfortable. Luckily, it'll be a downhill ride from here. So, do you want to be carried? Which would be plain boring. Or do you prefer the fun and fast way? Yes! Well, that was it for chapter two as well. Yo. Flying by now. Historians would die for a way to decipher apparently missing text passages here. They still found no reasons why scratches and lesions related to gold subsequently appear. But then why should it bother you? For he finally managed to haul her more or less unharmed to the rendezvous spot, and that without expecting any pay, except for the reward for choice on about the context to get on with the plot. Huzzah, get on with the plot! Well, you'll be safe here for now. We just need to wait for your fiancé to show up. <laughs> that Cletus guy is really a lucky fella. I hope he'll keep his promise. Well, now we just have to wait. I guess I should search for a way up to the platform on top of the tower. The view should be good from up there. Alright. So... Wow, that was, uh... Felt like a very really short chapter. We were, like, there, like... This is like the second video. This is the second video we've done in this new area, huh? And we're apparently done with it already. All of our items are once again gone. New area, perfect. All right, there you guys have it. We're in chapter number three now. I'm not sure how many chapters there are, but we're making some really good process. And if we're supposed to meet up with Kalidas here, then we're probably towards the end. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Stick around for the next episode. I will catch you next time.